what a difference a few hours can make. I mean, if you're leaving anytime soon, you should be fine. Yeah, but things will change. Exactly. The later we go into the morning, better chance we have for those snow showers. I mean, the good news is this isn't a heavy round of snow. It's just inconveniently timed. It's more sure. of a nuisance snow. The fact that it will fall uh, late morning and into lunchtime, and then you're going to have rain showers around mixing with some snow for the evening commute. And so it kind of keeps things messy, but we've definitely seen worse. So I just elevated us to fair here as we go through the day today. Tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon is our break. We've got one system that comes through today, and then the next one arrives for the weekend. So I elevated us both Saturday and Sunday because it does look a little messy here in the Miami Valley. We're going to have a band that sets up with the heavier snow totals, and then we could see, as we mentioned earlier, that chance for freezing rain, sleet, and even rain. It's going to keep things a little sloppy. Sunday and Monday with temperatures dropping into the low teens and at some point possibly getting below zero in some cities Monday morning. Any moisture on the road at that point can get icy. So we really will have to watch the entire weekend, even into the beginning of next week. A live look outside this morning in Troy. You can see it is nice and quiet right now. We do not have any snow shower activity. 32 degrees with winds out of the southeast. So there will be a little bit of dry air over us as that moisture starts to return with this next storm system. Everyone, though, is cold enough to support snow for the most part. If not, a little maybe freezing drizzle in a few of those cities that are getting above 32 right now. We are at 30, though. Urbana, 28 in Eaton, and 29 in Salina. So getting the kids ready today, they definitely need full winter gear because it will not get much warmer as we head into the afternoon. Here is our next storm system. You can see it is spreading a bit of that mix across portions of Illinois and now starting to get into central Indiana. And even where it is showing rain, keep in mind that the temperatures are below freezing in some of our southern communities. So we've got that chance that if those snowflakes are melting before they reach the surface, they are able to uh, maybe give us some slick spots, even if you're not seeing full flakes here early this morning. A few very weak returns across the Ohio-Indiana border wouldn't rule out that we don't have maybe a little drizzle or a few flurries trying to sneak down, but for the most part, it'll be as we head a little closer uh, to 7, 8 o'clock that we start to see the actual moisture trigger some of these snow showers. So you can see by 9, we do have scattered snow across a good chunk of the Miami Valley, especially the western half. As we go towards lunchtime, scattered snow will continue to spread across the area, and then once we head past lunch and start to warm up, we see that transition over to rain showers. So that would help us out on the road, it could keep things slushy or wet. Some of our far northern communities like Bell Fountain and Urbana could stay all snow throughout the day today. And so when it comes to snow totals, it's going to be kind of a hard day to measure anything. But I wouldn't rule out you see a coating, if not a half inch in the morning, and then maybe up to an inch or so in some of those northern spots that stay all snow through the day. Our hourly forecast does take us well into the mid-30s, so that is going to help with that transition over to rain showers. After school, that's still very very cold for the kids, even if it's a chilly rain for the drive home and getting off the bus. We want to make sure that they're prepared for that. And overnight tonight, any flurries, drizzle, that could linger, but the bulk of the showers end pretty quickly this evening. Tomorrow, temperatures then will climb above freezing. So that gives us a little bit of a break. We should get into the mid-30s pretty quickly. And then first look at the weekend. We are tracking that storm system Saturday, and then a bitter cold snap as we head into Sunday. That's what meteorologist Jesse Mag is going to be talking more about in just a minute. The five-day forecast here, yes, we are talking about the coldest year of 2019 arriving here in the Miami Valley. To talk about the latest on what we are seeing with those models, though, I do want to throw it over to Jesse Mag. He'll have a little bit more. And it is a storm, tr storm tracking alert day that we're looking at this system moving in today, and we have an additional system that's going to be moving in uh, throughout the weekend here. And the primary threat with that is obviously the winter weather associated with it, but we have a chance to see snow accumulating as well as ice accumulating. So we have to find the exact track of the storm in order to figure out what exactly we plan to see in the Miami Valley. And that's been shifting back and forth with the model updates. So as they continue to update, We'll have the update for you as well. And we're bringing you weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Let's go back to Sergeant Mark Bowen with a look at the traffic report. Morning, Sarge. And good morning to you, Jesse. We've actually had pretty good driving conditions so far. We'll keep an eye on driving conditions out on the freeway. Checking in with traffic tracker, getting a look at 75 right now, a little south of downtown there in the Moraine area, just past by Dryden Road. This part of the freeway looks good. It's actually pretty lightly traveled right now. We do have an accident, though. They have care flight on standby. This one is an accident where a vehicle went over an embankment, 122, State Route 122 at Shoal Road. That's 
south of Gratis to the far southern tip of Preble County. I'm Sergeant Mark Bowery, WHIO Team Traffic. Sergeant, thank you. It is 521, 32 degrees. ODOT crews across the state preparing for more snow. This now, a live look from Miami Township Salt Barn, where we've been seeing salt trucks loading up and leaving out this morning. Coming up, the precautions they are taking ahead of the next storm. Storm Tracker 7, the mobile weather center that allows our team of expert meteorologists to be anywhere in the community. Storm Center 7 is weather coverage you can count on.